Hello YouTubers and Kababayan. Uh, today's subject is RT-PCR and PCR tests. I've been getting a lot of messages asking me about the PCR tests, if they're the same with the RT-PCR. Uh, their main concern is if I take the PCR test, would that be good enough to satisfy the RT-PCR test that the, the Philippine government is requesting. So the answer to that is yes. And let me share you my experience. So back in November 2021, I needed a RT-PCR test uh, before I take my flight. CBS.com was the closest, not the closest, but the most available one near my neighborhood. I live in Rancho Santa Clarita, California. So I checked out uh, CVS.com. I got on their website and I was looking for the RT-PCR test. There is no RT-PCR test. The closest thing they got was PCR NAAT. So since the name was not the same, I was very concerned about it. So I asked the pharmacy tech. He told me, just go ahead and select that, make your appointment, and then take the test. And he said, um, there's a lot of people uh, who are flying to the Philippines and then they've been taking, uh, uh, taking the same PCR test that I'm going to take. And they said that it, it should be fine. And I expressed to him my concern about the RT-PCR. And he says, oh, don't worry about it. They're just the same. So I believed them. So I made my appointment. And on the CVS.com, there is a selection. Um, antigen test or PCR NAAT. The antigen is only good for local area, but the PCR NAAT, PCR NAAT, on the bottom of the screen it says, accepted for, for most travel, international travel. So I was kind of comfortable with the uh, pharmacy tech talking about it and also what the what I see on the uh, the website so I selected the PCR NAAT then on Monday uh, I said November 22nd uh, around 3 30 I took my test the swab test the PCR NAAT 24 hours later which is the following day I got my result and I will show you those results and I will show you the, the website so, I, so you can see what I'm looking at. And then when I got my result, I got uh, the paper saying I'm negative, but it did indicate RT-PCR on it. So I'm going to show you right now. So on this video, you can see it says my appointment. That's my appointment to take the PCR NAAT. Okay, so now you know how it looks like, and then it shows on the bottom where was the testing site. Okay, next picture I'm going to show you is my result via email. I took a screenshot of that from the email that I got on my phone. So although it didn't say... PC, uh, uh, although I took the PCR NAAT, if you look at my test result, look at it, it says SARS COVID 2 RNA QL NAAT RT PCR uh, forward slash TMA COVID 19. There you go. So this document, I uploaded it to the One Health Pass and they accepted it. I didn't have any issues. 
So guys, so feel comfortable and understand that the RT-PCR test that the Philippine government is asking for you to take is the equivalent or the same as the PCR test or PCR NAAT test we have here in America. So I don't know about Canada because um, I'm not from there. But I'm, I'm going to have to assume it's the same situation too. So anyways, I hope this video would clarify most or all of the confusion about, because uh, I, I see, I see um, well, not see, I saw on the chat group uh, a couple of days ago, people are arguing about that they're not the same. Well, we could knock that off because you can see my documents. This is the real thing. All right, guys, I hope this video would help everybody uh, who's going to travel in the Philippines. And guys, if you still have any question, message me and I'll do my best to answer you right away. Uh, sometimes I don't get a signal here in the hills, so, but I will answer you. And if you like the video, give me a like and subscribe, guys. Thank you very much and I love you guys.